Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me today. This is a cute card we're making featuring all new product from the new annual catalogue. And I just love it. It's that trolley full of lots of goodies. And we're going to start off with some stamping. And you can see here the stamps that I'm going to use is called Attention Shoppers. And we're going to stamp our trolley here with Misty Moonlighting. And just give it a good ink cup and just stamp that down there at the base lovely use the simple chamois to give everything a little bit of a clean and you could put anything you want into this trolley i am going to put some bunches of flowers next but i have put in as you saw all those gift bags you could put in just lots of little florals that you've die cut out or other florals that you've got whatever you want it really is um the sky's the limit it's up to your imagination so now i'm just going to stamp the little wheels for our trolley it's so cute and for that I've just used some smoky slate ink and now I'm just assigning what I want to put in my trolley so I am going to st stamp my sentiment here and I'm going to stamp two parts of the sentiment so I'm going to have here treat yourself happy birthday and I'm just using my block my grid paper to line everything up nicely there you go and I'm going to ink that up in um, stamp that in misty moonlight ink and i'm stamping that straight onto my designer series paper which is the country lace designer series paper and you'll find the measurements for that on the blog post on the website on my website and you can find the link to that in the description box below so now we're just going to stamp our little bunches of flowers and i'm going to stamp this a few times so i'm going to stamp this in memento tuxedo black because i want to color this in using stamp and blend alcohol markers so you can see here i think i'm going to stamp this five times maybe yeah five times there we go give that a clean up clear the decks a little bit otherwise we end up crafting in a tiny area so now i'm just going to start coloring in and i'm just starting here with my paper covering my flowers and i'm just going with my darker marker and then I'm just going to add some, blend it out with the lighter colour. And this colour is actually soft sea foam. So you can see here, I'm just going over and I'm going to blend it out with my lighter colour. It is very light, which I don't know here. Maybe in the camera is not picking it up very well. But you'll be able to see it in the still shots on the blog post. So do check that out. Okay, and I'm just going back in and here with a dark colour to try and deepen the shadows and give it, make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so now we're going to use some um, Berry Burst. And again, I'm just going with a darker colour. I'm going to add some details with a lighter colour and blend it out. And there was a little bit I missed with the soft sea foam. So I'm just going round. And the other colour I'm going to use is Highland Heather. So we're going to have a mixture of flowers. Some will be very burst and some will be Highland Heather. <gasps> so as you can see, I'm mainly going in with my darker of the two colours. And then blending it out with my light colour. These images are so small though that I'm not really being too fussy about it. As long as there's sort of a few spots that look a bit darker than others, then I sort of feel there's at least some kind of differentiation between the dark and the light. Just adding again in there where I missed out with my soft sea foam, some of the wrapping at the back, I didn't see it. So I'm just adding that back in. And then we're going to go here and finish colouring our flowers as you can see. Then I think I'm going back here to Berry Burst for my last lot of flowers. The Berry Burst is the deeper colour, the Highland Heather is the lighter one. And I think the two colours go very well together. So that's going to be our lovely little bunches of flowers. I think they're going to look cute. So now I've die cut them out using the matching dies, which are the Attention Shoppers dies. And now we're going to just start to build our card. So I've got a piece here of basic white cardstock 
and this is going to go on the inside now this is a standard a6 card base in berry burst that's an a4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half and then i've got another piece of basic white to go on the outside and then i've got a piece here of our designer series paper which i said as i said was the country lace and that measures 12.85 by eight and a half and the berry burst is 13.35 by nine but as i said all those measurements will be on the blog post so don't rush to try and write them down now so now we want to add a little sparkle to our or shimmer to our shopping trolley and in order to do that i'm going to use the wink of stella <coughs> pen so i'm just going to put our trolley together first as you can see here there we go i actually think i'm going to put everything together and then use the wink of stella so yes you can see here i'm just going to put a bit of glue just along the bottom where the wheels are and along the bottom of the trolley but not along the top of the trolley because i want to be able to tuck my bunches of flowers into the trolley so let's put that down on our card right about there we'll do it fine and then we're going to bring our bunches of flowers and i'm going to tuck them in here however i decide i want them i'm just going to put them whichever way around just like that lovely so i'm going to lift everything up try and remember how i had it down i'm going to put some glue on the back and I'm going to layer everything into my trolley and I put that one in there that's lovely and then another one at the back there and then final one is going to be there there we go and now I can put a bit of glue at the top of the trolley so everything can be stuck down in place and I'm just going to put a block on it <coughs> just to hold it so it sticks and takes okay so clear the decks a little bit and remove the block everything should be nicely stuck down there well not yet should be done now and now we are going to use our wink of Stella and I'm just going to trace around the trolley so the wheels and the base of the trolley as you can see and this is a wink, clear wink of Stella and this will just give it a little bit of a shimmer you can see here a little bit of a gloop came out but took a tissue to that and solved the problem no hassle at all and I'm just pulling it around all of the frame and this just gives it as I said looks like a metallic sheen so it looks doesn't look so flat and it'll just give gives a little shimmer just like a real trolley should okay so now I'm just going to use my white gel pen and I'm just using it here to add some highlights to my flowers just to give some <coughs> just to help lift the color I feel sometimes a little bit of a white pen really does help to lift and make the whole project pop so if you're enjoying this video I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos um, as I said all the information about the video will be on the blog post so do check all of that out okay so time for some finishing touches and I'm going to use these glossy dots which I was very happy that carried over from last year's catalogue into the current catalogue so I'm just putting a few here on this little diagonal there we go so there are the two cards I hope you like them. As I said, any more information you can find on the blog post. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.